So today we're setting up voice meter three different ways. So whether you're a content creator or just somebody looking to get your audio organized, this video is for you. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Beatwalker and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over how to set up voice meter in these three different ways. So the first way is going to be the most common. The next way is going to be adding an external input. And then the last one's going to be all together, similar to the go XLR. Just type that in. And that's going to be pretty much it. We are, we are going to be using voice meter potato instead of voice meter banana this time, but you can do it with both. This is just to give you an additional option to switch over to potato. If you want to, there are some additional features with potato, which I will link a video above to check those features out as they compare to voice meter banana. So let's start getting it set up. All right. So the first thing you're going to do obviously is go into your browser, search voice meter potato or voice meter banana, depending on what you're using. If I'm using potato here. You can just download this exe file. You don't necessarily need the package. Same thing with voice meter banana. I clicked on the wrong one there. You just need the install package here. I'm not going to download because I already have it. And then you'll also need this virtual audio cable. So you can download whether you're on Mac or PC, download the correct version. And then once you're done, they'll obviously show up on your downloads folder here. All right. So you're just simply going to click on this uh, voice meter folder, double click the install, go to the installation, nothing special here. You won't have to restart quite yet. I'm not going to go through the installation because it's going to stop the recording for me. Then once you've installed that one, you're going to want to extract this folder for the VB cable here. You can just extract it to the same folder or wherever you want to extract it's fine. Then you're going to open up the driver pack and you have two setup installations. One's for 64 bit, the other's for 32. I'm using 64 bit on my computer. Choose whichever one's right for you. You're going to right click there, run as administrator. What that's going to do is just prioritize the BB cable installation. And then you're going to have to restart your computer after you install that. All right. So once you've restarted everything, you're going to probably see the VB audio folder here. I have to scroll all the way down. You'll see this VB audio. And again, you're selecting uh, banana or potato, depending on which one you're using. I'm using potato and then this will pop up here. You're not going to hear anything yet from it. So we're going to have to get things set up on the back end before you can start hearing things. All right. So before we even start touching stuff in voice meter, we're going to want to make sure that our sound settings are, are set up. So if you go to right, click the sound icon, open sound settings. The main thing is you're going to want to make sure your output device is set to voice meter input. And then your input device is going to be set to voice meter aux output. So that's basically your microphone that's coming through voice meter. Once that's set up, you can go to sound control panel. And your playback, you're going to want to make sure that that's set to voice meter input as a default. You might have two check marks here, so you can just make sure that both of them are set to default on voice meter input. And for recording, same thing, you're going to want this voice meter aux output set to default. Again, you might have two check marks, make sure both of them are set to default, and then you should be good to go. So we can go ahead and close that and you're all set up ready to start messing with voice meter. Okay. So I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to reset everything to default here cause it's going to stop my recording. But basically if you just follow along with me, we should be able to set this up correctly for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up your hardware out. So that's going to be your speakers or your audio interface like I have, or your headphones, whatever you have as the listening device for you. You can use this WDM, which is your, which is the baseline. Now, if you do get some clicking or something not something's not sounding right, you can try to try to switch over to this MME or I'll uh, drop another video of how to correct any sound issues you might have. But for now, just go ahead and click the WDM version of whatever it is you're using. So I'm using audio interface. I'll leave that there. And once you have that in there, your first hardware input is going to be your microphone. So I have the audio interface focus, right? You might have a USB audio mic, Blue Yeti, etc. So just make sure you click that one again with the using again using the WDM. And once you click that, you should start seeing a signal come through your voice meter. So if you have one bar 
let's say it looks something like this. You're hearing me on the left hand side. Make sure you click mono there. Uh, this does typically happen with the uh, audio interface. It probably won't happen with the USB mic, but again, just make sure both signals are coming through your left and your right. And then you're just going to want to switch this. If it's on B1, switch it to B2 because we're going to want to isolate that microphone into its own channel. And once you're set up there, you're good to go. So the next hardware input we're going to use is the cable output. So what that is, is that extra VB cable we downloaded. So I'm just using that as an additional source that I'm going to use with Discord. You can use it however you want, but Discord is my preference. So I'm just going to want to select cable output there using w, WDM for all my inputs here. So once you select that, we can come into Discord. Quick plug, this is my Discord. If you have any questions, I'll drop a link down below. You can come over and ask them and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So I just wanna click these user settings, voice and audio, and the input device, same thing, is gonna be your voice meter aux output. And the output device is gonna be cable input. So the cable input is gonna to run to the cable output section of your hardware input too. And we'll just do a little test, mic check. Mic. To make sure everything's running through properly, you can just do a quick test. Again, one thing I wanna mention is the test on Discord sucks. So don't take that with a grain of salt. It's not gonna sound perfect. If you want me to do a video on how to get a really, really clear test, uh, and it basically involves deselecting a lot of these uh, features down here to get a really clear sound, but for now, if you just get a signal, it should be good and your friends should hear you all right, unless there's something going on on the back end. Again, I will link a video on how to correct those issues. So once you have that set up, we can close out Discord. And that's pretty much it for all our hardware inputs. You shouldn't have anything else selected. If you saw a selection here earlier, it was just something that I had for my next setup. So you should have everything else blank. All your audio sounds, like let's say Spotify, you know, YouTube, game audio, etc., is gonna come through this voice meter VAIO. So if I just play Spotify here, you'll see a chat the sound coming through here. And then you could adjust some of these channels. This is voice meter potato only. So we'll test Spotify. We'll test YouTube. And then you can see Google Chrome coming through here. All right. So yeah, again, all your sounds are gonna come through here. You can do some adjustments if you need to. Uh, lower this volume here is gonna maintain, uh, you know, some lower volume within that. And then the last thing on this is uh, this. So th these all correspond basically to the same thing. These A1s, A2s, you know, it's gonna give you the sound that's coming through each channel. So these by default have A1 selected and you wanna keep all these selected except for your microphone. So if I do that, then I can hear myself talk, which I don't want. So, but I do want uh, all my sounds, for example, Spotify, Game Sound, Discord, to come to A1 because I do want to hear that. And the A1 corresponds to my speakers, headphones, etc. So this is the A1. Now you can set up multiple ones here, but I just have one set up because there's really no reason to have an additional unless you have, you know, external speakers or whatever the case. And then uh, the B1 and B2 which is these B1s and B2, that's your, these are going out to your stream. So you see B2 pop up right now because that's my microphone, right? And then the B1 will pop up when let's say I play uh, Spotify. And then what I'm gonna do is show you OBS. So in OBS, same thing, you can see the mic B2 come through. I named it B2 just to make it easier for you. But what that basically is, is you're bringing in a audio input capture source, and then you're just gonna select voice meter aux output as your microphone. Okay, so once you have that set up, you should start seeing a signal come through here. And then this audio B1, which again, I'll do, just do a quick test. Play there, and you'll see that come through. And all that is, is bringing in a audio output capture source. And then once you bring that in, you'll want to select the voice meter input. All right. And all again, all the sounds are gonna come through B1 if you have them selected that way. 
and that's really it for your setup with obs all right so once you have that set up you're pretty much good to go all right so the next one what i want you to do is go ahead and follow everything up to this point uh, for the second setup <clears throat> the only thing you're going to do different here is you're going to add in your hardware input let's say you have uh, a gaming pc and a streaming pc or you have uh, xbox that you're gaming on you're using a capture card for that so for example i have this you know can could bring in that audio from the game and you could you can set that to go to your stream so just to make it easier for you you have an additional input here that you can utilize so that's going to give you you know your external game or pc setup etc now everything else is going to be the same that's just an additional way you can set this up and then the last way which is your all together go xlr so it's a little bit different you might think you know i can just set it all to b1 but you really can't because for whatever reason if you're streaming to obs it doesn't allow you to bring in your microphone into b1 so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this over to b2 switch all these over to b2 again you want to follow the same instructions to set this all up switch all these to b2 and then in obs you're going to want to mute this b1 otherwise the spotify everything else is going to come through so if i do test here you'll notice that everything came through b2 so you can just name this you know main audio voice meter etc and everything's just coming through there one additional thing you could do uh, which is pretty cool with Voice meter potato is you can use what's what I call this additional VAIO to bring in or to separate something else. So let's say I wanted to have uh, just just this with my game audio and I, I just wanted to keep it at a certain level. I can bring this down here. Now what you will have to do is go to your sound settings and then come down this advanced options area. Let's see if you can see it in voice meter. Yeah, you can. Okay, it's coming out of this advanced option. So I use Spotify as an example, but once you bring up your game, it should show up on this list. And then you could select this VAIO3 input. And once you have this selected, what you're going to want to do first is go back to voice meter and make sure that this VAIO3 is not going to either B2 or B1, depending on what you're using. So make sure that's unselected because it's going to go directly to OBS. So for example, I'm just going to play this. And if we look in OBS, you have it going to VAO3. So it's something unique that voice meter kind of added. Uh, and they just wanted to be to allow the user to not have to go through voice meter necessarily. That'll still show up, you know, it's part of voice meters program and you can actually hear it in this a one area but it'll go directly to OBS as an, as an additional source. And it, and the same thing applies with the cable as well. So just keep that in mind. You can use that. So, I mean, a lot of flexibility with this program. And I hope, you know, I explain this in a pretty clear manner because there is just a lot of different ways you can set this up. And I've, I've tried to figure out some of the easier ways to do it because uh, people just have a lot of questions on how, you know, the best way to set this up is and the answer is there's no real best way. It's whatever works for you. So, you know, do whatever works for you. If it's easier just to go through one source, you can do the last one. If it's easier to split up the mic, that's what I use mainly because you can get some effects here. So I'm using the EQ for this. So I can just set up this EQ here for the microphone, which is really cool. And uh, to set this up, you can just right click on the EQ adjust some EQ here and then to switch it on and off you just click it so that's really cool yeah so that's pretty much it for the setup if this helped you out be sure to drop a like subscribe and i'll try to um you know answer any questions you have if you want to come in the discord if you have a specific setup you can show me what you have and i can try to work through you know some um issues you might be having but but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next one later